What's going on everybody? Today I have a new tactic here for you guys. It is the 451 Kenobi that I have decided to test in France. Haven't really just done many tests in France this year, uh, whether it be for videos or just for fun, really. But this time around I decided to do so because I wanted to see how it would perform within the Champions League, potentially the Europa League and the Europa Conference League. So I selected some clubs that could potentially fit into all three of those competitions, those being PSG, Olympic Marseille, and OGC Nice. Let me tell you, they all did very, very well. They all had decent ventures within those competitions as well. Um, and PSG had a uh, unreal season goal scoring wise and also only lost one game unfortunately to Auger which was kind of annoying but Mbappe did something absolutely insane with this tactic which we will get to momentarily but if you guys happen to enjoy today's video please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe subscribing is 100 free so i want to hit that sub button also if you guys like to give this tactic a go there will be a link down below in the description to my discord where you guys are able to download the tactic from but without further ado let's get into the video all right so like i said tested in france and liga and this is how the clubs finished one two three all claiming champions league spots all doing very very well psg scoring 130 goals within the league conceding 30 they had 100 goal differentials so that you can definitely have a high output of goals with this tactic marseille also almost breaking the 100 goal mark and ogc nice also almost getting up there as well um being that Nice and Marseille both finished on 79 points and PSG 20 points clear them, yes, obviously there is going to be a difference due to talent level and what players are going to be able to get out of this tactic because I know for a fact from testing this multiple, multiple times, I've included it with clubs like Toulouse, with clubs like Alger, with clubs like Rene, they everyone produces at a different level due to the talent level that they have but a majority of the time they're all finishing within european spots like i would say 90 percent of the time every club that i would test with would finish within the top six here in france which is very very good uh but yeah now that we have covered that let's see how they performed in the team and player overview so like i previously said they those three clubs scored the most goals in the league the next highest after those three was at 68 by as monaco they obviously shot the most few shots against they were all in as well with psg being in second marseille in fourth ogc needs in eighth best pass completion they finished second third and fourth most possession marseille finishing in first with 61 percent same with psg and Nice having 57%, so it's a high possession style tactic as well. Most tackles made, no one was in. Most dribbles made, OGC Nice at the very top with 804, PSG in 6th, and Marseille in 7th. And then most clean sheets, PSG having the most clean sheets with 18, Marseille on 15, Nice 13, fewest conceded, PSG conceding 30, Olympic Marseille with 42 and Nice with 50. There are obviously going to be some tweaks that I will tell you guys about that you guys can make the defense a little bit better, a little less leaky. Um, so yeah, let's see how the players performed. So keep in mind, this is within the league alone with how these players performed because they all actually scored more goals than you're seeing on the screen right now. Mbappe in the league alone had 61 goals which is absolutely insane. He was scoring a goal every 51 minutes. Bettina had 29 goals. He was scoring a goal every single game, basically. Uh, Gaetan Laborde had 26, and Lionel Messi had 22. Now, assist-wise, we have the top six, which is very impressive. Ruslan Malinovsky with 24, Messi with 23. Sofian Diop, who's very, very solid, by the way, with 20 assists. Neymar at 14, Nicolas Pepe, we turned him into a very, very solid player with this tactic. Nicolas Pepe had 13, and Renato Sanchez had 12. Most part of the match performances, Mbappe at 13, Messi with 9, Diop with 6, and Malinovsky also at 6. Most key passes, we've got the top 4 here, Malinovsky with 178, 
Messi with 159, Neymar 136, Sofian Diop with 119. So big time playmaking style tactic here. Then for passing completion, we have got five players in there, which is nice to see. And tackles, we didn't have anyone just like team wise. None of them were in there, but for most dribbles made, Yusuf Atal had 147, followed by Atra Fakimi at 146, Nicolas Pepe with 137, and Cengiz Under with 120. Mr. Gianluigi Donnarumma with 16 clean sheets, Paul Lopez with 14, and Mr. Casper Schmeichel with 10. If he has conceded, Donnarumma conceded 28, Paul Lopez 42, Schmeichel 48. So like I was saying in the player overview on the goal screen, everyone scored way more than what they did alone in the league because Gaetan Laborde had, I believe it was 26. He scored 41 overall. Nicholas Pepe had 20 goals. Ross Barkley with 15. He was averaging half a goal during the season because he only played 30 times, 15 goals. Very, very freaking good for Ross Barkley. Then we had Sofian Diop with 12, Aaron Ramsey with 11. When it comes to Marseille, Vitinha only scored a few more goals than he did in the league at 32, but Alexis Sanchez with 19, Dimitri Pai with 16, and Amin Hari with 11. And now we get to the big boys, to the big dogs at PSG. Mbappe had 94 goals with this tactic. It is... As it is a 4-5-1, it's going to be a lone striker type of formation. But with the playmaking ability to get the ball to the striker, if you have a very good striker, you're going to score loads and loads and loads of goals. And Mbappe is a perfect example of that. Messi had 25, Neymar with 18, and they both played the attacking midfielder roles behind Mbappe. So they, they were still doing very, very well. Now, assist-wise, Messi had 30. Neymar with 22, Fabian with 18, Carlos Soler with 16, Renato Sanchez with 14, and Nuno Mendez with 11. But when it comes to Marseille, their assist numbers were kind of down, but everyone actually performed in some shape or form assist-wise. There were only two players that didn't record an assist aside from a goalkeeper, which was the backup goalkeeper in Ruben Blanco. It was Paulo Lopez and Samuel Gigo. They did not have assists, but everyone else did. So while there are only two players with double-digit assists with Ruslan Malinovsky having 26 and Amin Hari having 10, everyone was contributing in some way, shape, or form. And then when we get to Nice, Sofian Diop had 26, Nicolas Pepe had 21. Like I said, we turned him into a very good, viable player with this tactic. He had 20 goals and 21 assists overall. And Ross Barkley... 15 goals, 8 assists. I think a majority of Chelsea fans would have definitely taken that every season from him while he was there. But, I mean, overall, these squads performed very, very well with this tactic. Let's see how the tactic shapes up. So here we are with the 4-5-1 Kenobi. A lot of fun to watch in the match engine, and it is very fun to use as well. I actually might use this going forward because back in the day, I used to love using a 4-5-1. Kind of strayed away from it because the 4-3-3 and the 4-2-3-1 has really taken over being those FM meta type tactics. But the 4-5-1 definitely still up there. Definitely fun to use. Starts off with an advance forward on attack up top. We got two attacking midfielders on attack behind them. And we got two inverted wingers on support. A ball winning midfielder on defend. Two complete wing backs on support. Two central defenders on defend. And a goalkeeper on defend. Now the advanced forward on attack, although we added him, was shoot more often. Both attacking midfielders on attack have crosses aimed at the far post, shoot more often, and move into channels. The inverted wingers on support on either side have take more risks and crosses aimed at center. The ball winning midfielder on defend was left as is. The complete wing backs on support have cross more often and crosses aimed at center. That's for both of them. Both central defenders on defend were left as is. And the goalkeeper on defend was also left as is. This tactic was played with a positive mentality. It can definitely be played with a balanced or attacking mentality, especially if you need to nick a goal late. But going positive gives you the best of both worlds. And I will speak to how to prevent a little bit more goals going in on you. Because as you notice, there are complete wingbacks on support. And complete wingbacks, whether they're on support or on attack, 
are very, very focused on offense. The, this tactic is focused on goal scoring. So I, I will give you a little tip or trick, you can call it in a moment, after we go over the in possession, transition, and out of possession. So attacking with fairly narrow, passing the space with the approach play, we underlap on the left and the right, use little crosses in the final third, work the ball into the box, shorter passing directness and a slightly higher tempo. While in transition, we counter press and counter distribute quickly to the defense, AKA the fullbacks and our wingbacks and the center backs. Then once out of possession, we use a mid block with a more often trigger press, AKA more often pressing intensity and trap to the outside. Now there are two simple tweaks that you can do if you are conceding more than you would like. All you gotta do is change the complete wing back on support to either a wing back on support or even a inverted wing back on support. Cause as you saw, they are underlapping runs from the wing backs. So if you go from a super all out attack type wing back, like the complete wing back to a normal wing back on support, there is definitely going to be more defensive ability there for you. But if you go with inverted wing backs, you have a perfect, perfect thing there with the underlapping runs and they will come play with the ball winning midfielder and defense and it will be really hard to break you down. Uh, so if you are conceding more than you would like, those are two little tweaks that you can do. So with all that being said, let's see how this performs within the match engine. So after seeing how it performed within the match engine with you guys, as you can see, this tactic is very, very good. You just outright dominate offensively. And I gave you those tweaks defensively. So if you guys feel you are conceding more than you would like, implement those tweaks and everything will be a-okay. Now, one thing that I didn't go over is the trophy hall for these teams. Now, the only team that was winning trophies, unfortunately, was PSG, but they did win a treble, almost a quadruple. They got knocked out by Liverpool in the semifinal, which Liverpool went on to win the Champions League. And being that Nice was in the Conference League, they got to the semifinal as well. Actually, no, they got to the quarterfinal. 
And then I believe Marseille got knocked down the round of 16 by Chelsea because this is with the update that Chelsea has their army of players now. Um, but overall, really happy with how these clubs performed. Really happy with the results as well. So definitely feel free to give this tactic a go if you guys would like to do so. There will be a link down below in the description where, for my Discord where you guys can download it from. So if you guys have to enjoy today's video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free. And until next time. Have a good one. Bye.